What up, YouTube? This your boy, Crypto Roots. And I'm chilling. We on the beach. You know what I'm saying? Mexico. And we grinding. I got more crypto game. And what I didn't know when, when first getting into programming, I thought, like, you would literally have to, like, code, like, everything yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, man, I don't got time for that. I don't understand that. I don't know how long it's going to take me to learn that. But I just, like, I'm learning anyways, man. I got nothing but time. You feel me? So uh, once I started learning, I realized, like, most of the code's, like, already written for you. Like, it took me a while to realize that. You can just go on GitHub and fork some open source code. Like, when it comes to designing websites, you could just take a template. Like, I realized, I was talking to other developers and they were like, most of the work has already been done. Like, the hard stuff has already been done. Nowadays, things are just plugins, drag and drops, even when it comes to code. The thing about it is learning how the code works. That is the most difficult part or challenging part when it comes to programming is learning how the code works because and then once you know how the code works you can kind of just copy and paste somebody else's code edit it even with bitcoin you can kind of fork the source code and just change a few parameters and you got litecoin you know what i'm saying you got di all, different altcoins because of the, the original bitcoin source code that was already written by one person satoshi who did most of the hard work figuring all this out you know what i'm saying so all these altcoins and Bitcoin forks, they're just changing a few things. They're just changing a few parameters in here and there. And then they got their own other currency. So it's not even like a lazy way out because when it comes to programming, you're not trying to take any more time. You're not trying to make anything more confusing than it needs to be. In fact, there's a lot of programming languages such as Python that are like new beginner friendly. They're like the easier it is for people to understand, the more adaptable for the technology to be and the, the more you can use that type of software that programming language to to conquer other programming languages so there's always a race on how to make things easier how to make it more adaptive to new beginners such as like a javascript framework such as Vue.js. you know what i'm saying i was i was like yo i got uh html down i got css down i got javascript down now you know either i'm gonna choose django for python or i'm gonna choose some javascript framework but if I try to choose React, man, it just seemed like way too much for me. But I tried to choose Angular, I was like, what the? F but everyone was like, Vue is beginner friendly. Vue.js is beginner friendly. I'm like, you know, I'm all about that. I'm all about beginner friendly because I'm, I don't wanna take too much time focusing in on the wrong things. I got an agenda, I got, I, I got an idea of where I wanna be when it comes to programming. And I'm trying to get there as soon as possible. But at the same time, I'm not trying to take shortcuts and, you know, miss out on some fundamentals. So I make sure that I take the time to understand my operating software. You know what I'm saying? I just upgraded to Linux. I'm, I'm taking the time to actually understand Linux. Because I, I realize that even though I may study something for a while, I'll be studying other things and then I'll forget things. So I'll have some potholes in my knowledge when it comes to certain languages or frameworks or, you know what I'm saying? So I, you have to go back and restudy certain things. But at the end of the day, most of the codes are rewritten for you. Developers are always looking out for other developers. And that's the cool thing. People really have in your back. Not many other industries where people don't know you will they have your back. But even when it comes to programming, in fact, you don't know most of the people that you help. And most of the people that help you don't even know you. And that's the craziest thing. And that's why I fit in the community so well. I just got a different vibe. I got a different background. I got a different attitude and I got different goals. But I'm trying to get most of my brothers and sisters and to programming and being developers and take manifesting their thoughts like into reality or at least knowing how to talk the jargon to get the people. So uh, holler at my, uh, uh, sign up for my Discord server. You know what I'm saying? That's my mentorship servers, but I also welcome new beginners. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm on the go and I'm always moving and I'm always studying that Discord is probably the best way to get a hold of me on the go. You know what I'm saying? Holler at me for the mentorships. But understand, it's not so hard. And I'm a developer and I'm looking out for you. So that's what I'm saying. Like developers are always looking out for other developers. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're putting in the effort to learn it and like you attempt to learn, people are willing to help you. But if you choose not, to, you expect everybody to do everything for you, that very few, very few people are gonna even wanna do that. You know what I'm saying? So 
just just keep studying keep grinding and uh, Python, I recommend Vue.js, I recommend HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Just start learning that, you know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy, much love, peace. I'm looking out for you.